Right, making this cross piece super easy to do. I like to start out with a blank like this. And the approximate size, well, who am I kidding? The exact size that you should be drawing this is six inches by one and a half inches. So here's what I recommend doing. It's the same way I always do. Why do I like it this way? I like to ensure that I get square corners, if you know what I mean. So just a ruler width, not a measurement across the bottom. Shade below here, not a part of our design. Have another one going up vertically, line things up perfectly. And same thing, not measuring. It's just width of your ruler. Your ruler width may vary from what I have. Now is where the measurement starts to happen. Remember I said that I would like this to be six inches long or wide. I'm gonna go way up here and make another tick mark at six inches. And at this point, this is kind of basically a construction line. Okay, nothing's gonna happen in this space. And then finally, from this baseline, I am measuring up one and a half inches. Do that on both sides. And a straight line across there. And then I have my blank drawn. Well, this rectangle, this rectangle, same exact thing. That was the goal. So here's next. In our finished product, we're gonna have two dowels that stick up. And it's really important that you get these spaced evenly. It looks nice, gonna make the rubber band function better. So here are your distances. Basically, you are gonna measure in one inch from either side. So here I am on the left side, making a tick mark, going up here, making a tick mark. Okay. Right now, this is gonna get drawn in lightly because this is a construction line. And then I need to find the exact middle of that line. So again, measure across this thing, if you didn't remember, inch and a half. That means the midway point is 3 fourths of an inch. Now this I'll draw in dark. I'm gonna erase out my construction lines. Almost time for a new eraser. Gonna be a hole drilled there. Gonna do those exact same steps over on this side. One inch in from the side, coming in one inch. Draw it light to begin, because it's a construction line. Find the center at three-fourths of an inch. And erase out construction lines. And the last little bit is, is I like to curve these edges. And for that, it's just find something that's gonna help you draw a round edge in the best possible way. It does not have to be exactly the same as what I'm doing. So this just so happens to be a cap off of a milk jug. Got to get a good angle here. And that's what I'm using. You can see that that creates a nice edge there that I can cut around with the scroll saw. Make it symmetrical. Because let's be honest with each other, Some symmetry is pretty amazing. Same exact thing down here. And then ladies and gentlemen, you've got yourself a pattern. Take it over to the wood shop, get yourself a blank, get yourself some dowels, a couple of drill holes, a couple of cuts. You sand this baby up, almost ready to assemble a crossbow.